everybody, and welcome to the vlog. You know, someone actually asked me, why are baby snakes so cranky? So I'm gonna talk about that here in a second, but oh, oh my gosh. But before we do that, uh, I actually have uh, some snakes to unbox. For those of you guys that have been liking unboxing, uh, it's unusual for us to do so much unboxing, to be honest with you, and uh, I'm excited about it. And uh, Lori just keeps surprising me with different things, uh, and I didn't know the shipment was even coming until it showed up, and I was like, oh my gosh, I get to unbox stuff. Unfortunately, Lori is not here, so she can't uh, enjoy it with me. But that's okay, because uh, the truth be told, you know, she doesn't allow me to keep stuff. So if there's something cool in here, I just set it aside. She may not even know it's even here, right? So don't tell anyone. All right, we got two boxes here. These are all ball pythons. Again, these come from my friends that I get a lot of stuff from. They always have amazing stuff. Like I had mentioned, the last shipment that I got from them, they didn't have much left. But obviously, Lori and them found some stuff that they had left. So I don't know what it's going to be. You guys know that I try not to look at the bags because I want to be surprised like you guys, right? So I want to see if I can just see what is in here and enjoy it. Uh, and of course, if I guess right, I feel good. If I don't, then it means that I don't. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, what do we got here? Hmm. Whoa, what the heck is that? Okay, so right off the rip, it looks like we have definitely like a sugar, pastel sugar. This looks like a, a maybe a super enchy spider, I'm thinking. And then this one actually looks like maybe a banana cinnamon pin maybe even a black pastel cinnamon pin i'm not sure let's see how i did here we have a, a banana cinnamon pin so that was good a pastel sugar i was good on that one the other one was a banana super enchy bumblebee so okay that was uh i just didn't get the banana part so this is actually a banana super enchy bumblebee so that's actually pretty cool these are some gorgeous snakes let's just go ahead and jump right in see what we got okay so uh this looks like a queen bee which would be a lesser spider and a pastel i don't know if i'm right of course this is just a nice little pastel pied i'm sure of that let's see what we got here we got oh a yellow belly pied so this is actually a yellow belly pied just changes the pattern just a little bit on it absolutely incredible and this this one is a banana lesser spider. So again, I'm messing up. That queen bee and banana spider stuff looks really, really similar. So uh, anyways, good stuff. You know, and I always say it's really interesting because, you know, I've been doing ball pythons since there was really just normals and maybe when the first albinos popped up and then pies. So to see all these amazing mutations, it really is crazy to me. This looks like maybe a banana lemon blast. So a banana, a pastel, and a pinstripe, I would say. Uh, this definitely looks like a banana maybe lesser Woma-ish type of thing. I wonder if this is a Candino. That is an incredible animal. Again, every time we get Candinos, they sell so quick because they're so absolutely beautiful. Let's see how good I got here. Let's see, we had a uh, pastel Candino, so that was about right. Uh, just didn't get the cat pastel part. We had a banana lemon blast, that was right, and then a banana spider Mojave. I messed that one up pretty bad. The banana spider Mojave, I was way off on that one, but I guess I said a lesser Woma. So that kind of similar if you guys know, but uh, but definitely not good. So uh, I did, you know, uh, two out of three, I can't complain. Remember, play along down in the comments. I want to see if you guys are doing good or not. It's always so exciting to unbox things. I love it. And oh my gosh, these things are gorgeous. I don't know. I'm going to say a banana spinner, banana spinner blast. Maybe there's calico in this one because look at the whites in the sides. But sometimes you'll get a lot of whites in the sides just from the spider influence, right? But I think these might just be banana spinner and banana spinner blast. I don't know. So we have all of these are but just banana spinners. So all three of these are banana spinners. And isn't it interesting how the polymorphism or just the difference between the same mutation, unbelievably spectacular. All right, next box, guys. I hope that you guys have been enjoying this uh, this unexpected kind of spree of unboxing, which I think has uh, been absolutely amazing because it's cool, right? I love to do it. And, and maybe we'll be getting a, one or two more animals for the Reptarium over the next few weeks. So some surprises come in there. Stay tuned. We'll see what goes on with that but uh let's just go ahead and keep going with this one Woo, ooh, that's pretty so obviously we have another pied here and i'm going to say the same thing maybe this is a pied yellow belly because you can see kind of the interesting patterning the flaming up the sides oftentimes is yellow belly this one 
is a tough one. And this is, I, I think we got the same one last time and I couldn't figure it out because I thought it was like maybe a banana, spider, Mojave. I, I don't even know. So let's just go ahead and see what I got here. We actually have a banana bumblebee Mojave calico. That makes sense. That is a crazy animal. And another yellow belly pied. So absolutely right. So this is a cool, cool genetic animal. I mean, there's a lot of really cool genes in that animal. Just a few more bags here and we are done with the unboxing for the day. Let's see what we got. Ooh, another pretty thing. I think we got another Candino. Gosh, I did not think we were gonna be able to get Candinos. Again, Candino, and I would say Banana Enchi Spider, I think. Candino Pastel, so the same one there. And then this is a Super Enchi Bumblebee. So, okay, so a Super Enchi Bumblebee and a Pastel Candino. So, well, there you go. We've got a few Candinos in stock. Now, uh, I'm gonna predict that we aren't gonna have those for long. Two more bags, guys, two more bags. Ooh, these are pretty too. Uh, they're all beautiful, you know what I mean? I just love these guys, and oh my goodness, look at that right there. That, I mean, I'm assuming that's a bumblebee calico, uh, just because you see, look at the white in the sides. I mean, ooh, doggy, that is beautiful. And then it looks like uh, this one's gotta be just a maybe a banana lemon blast again. This one is crazy. I'm gonna say it's a banana super enchi pinstripe. That's gonna be my guess, but it might be a super enchi spinner too. So let's go ahead and see what we got. We got a banana, oh, a banana leopard spinner. Whew, that is awesome. And then again, a banana lemon blast and an enchi. Oh, so this is an enchi bumblebee calico. So, okay, cool. And then last bag, let's see what we got in here. Oh, nice animals, I tell ya. These are all just beautiful. And that's the thing I like about these animals is we're just getting really beautiful animals. I mean, just gorgeous. Again, it's gotta be like a banana spinner here. Looks like maybe a banana Mojave bumblebee, I'm gonna say. And then this one looks like a banana lesser spider, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just go ahead and see what we got. So interestingly enough, this doesn't have banana. This is actually a killer queen bee. So this is a super pastel lesser spider ball python. It's also got enchi in it. That makes a lot of sense. This, of course, was the banana lesser spider like I thought and then of course a banana spinner so there you guys go uh it wraps up the unboxing let's hope we'll have some more unboxing here in the near future again let me know in the comments how you did and if you enjoy unboxing like I had mentioned yesterday we're going to be able to increase from 10 to 25 people at a time here at the Reptarium so starting the 12th 13th and 14th weekend here all the way through June there's going to be 25 slots per hour available I think we we're pretty much sold out at 10 but now we're adding an additional 15 so if you guys want to come hang out with us at the Reptarium. Any weekend in the month of June, you can go ahead and go to the Reptarium.com. You can buy your time slot. We're also doing private tours, birthday parties, and all that type of stuff. So this is pretty cool. We're getting closer and closer to normal. And we're hoping that by July, maybe we'll just be open as normal. We'll have to wait to see what the governor says. We want to always keep your safety in mind, our safety in mind, the animal safety. But for now, it's pretty awesome. Able to have 25 people. So if you want to come hang out with us, the Reptarium.com, book your time slot. Back to why little baby snakes oftentimes are striking. This is the actual boa that we unboxed the other day that just kept on taking pop shots at me. What you have to understand is that really snakes bite for only two reasons. They're either scared and they're defensively trying to bite saying, hey, get away from me, or it's so aggressive about feeding. And that's why we're trying to train Night Fury to ball train, right? Because he's such an aggressive feeder that when you open the cage, he comes lunging out thinking he's gonna get fed. Now that we're starting to target train him with the ball already, I can open the enclosure and he's not rushing out. So again, as long as you understand that there's only really two reasons for a snake to strike like that is if it's afraid or if it thinks you're food and as you can see that now that this little boa that was striking like crazy because it was so afraid the other day is no longer afraid it's no longer striking right so that's what happens a lot of times is baby snakes you just have to gain their trust once you gain their trust then they pretty much stop striking now I'll be totally honest with you there's some snakes like mangrove snakes to some extent can be this way certainly tree boas sometimes it's hard to get them doesn't mean you can't get them to tame out it just means that there's a higher amount of defensiveness with them and they just don't trust people the same way. Now I've seen a lot of tree boas and mangroves that have been super, super tame. So every snake you can certainly gain their trust. Some are just a little harder than others, but once you understand the mechanism of why snakes strike, usually you can get them to stop striking. I cannot wait until my girl Ivy here sheds out. Like I've been mentioning, I've been really kind of dreaming about that time of just getting in and settling in here in the water and spending some time with her. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. I mean, I've been in with the water with her. You guys see me cleaning her and stuff like that, but I've never just kind of settled down and been quiet with her and let her kind of just 
decide what she's gonna do. I think she looks amazing when she's in blue though. I mean, what an absolutely gorgeous animal. When she's shed, she's gorgeous. When she's out of shed, she's gorgeous. She's just incredible. But I'm telling you what, definitely buckle up because I think we're gonna get some amazing footage. It's gonna be an incredible experience to just sit in the water. And like I said, somehow, some way, I have to figure out offering that experience to people. So people can come in, whether it's getting in the water or sitting on the land, people have to be able to get the experience that I've been able to get recently with Ivy because I'm telling you what, it is uh, like no other snake experience you'll ever have. Time we are in the dungeon, and that means we're gonna collect some ball python eggs. And this first clutch, I am excited about. Look at this, this is actually a fire yellow belly. Whoo, doggy! Look at that snake right there, and look at the clutch of eggs. Could this be the 12 egg clutch we've been waiting for? I tell you what, I'm predicting that there's at least 12 eggs in this clutch. I, I, that That is a beautiful clutch, and she was bred to a banger male. This pin red stripe here, the red stripe stuff is so cool. Pin stripe is obviously really cool. You get that into fire and yellow belly. To produce a fire pin red stripe yellow belly, that's got some foundations for some awesome babies. Let's see how many eggs there are and see if I predicted that 12 egg clutch correctly. Okay, mama, you ready? Come on, girl, I know you did so good. Oh gosh, that is like, that is the clutch of dreams right there. I mean, just perfect size eggs. She's wrapped on them, she's coiled them really well. She is just an absolutely good mama. You did good, mama. I'm sorry I took your eggs away. I tell you what, it's gonna be a close one with that egg count. I'm not gonna lie to you here. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful clutch of eggs. Oh my goodness. You guys ready? Let's see if I was right. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 11 eggs. We've now had like five 11 egg clutches. I thought for sure this was a 12 egg clutch, but hey, listen, 11 gorgeous eggs. I am gonna take it. I cannot wait till these babies hatch. Again, 57 days we'll be cutting this clutch and we have one more clutch to pull today. And then the next clutch is actually this spider ball python right here. Let's just go ahead and pull it off. Wow, that thing has got some beautiful eggs in it too. Another really good clutch. Again, I'll show you the male it's bred to, which is this banana extreme pinstripe. It's in shed, so it doesn't look as great right now, but that should be pretty cool. We could get some banana extreme spinners. The extreme gene stuff looks really good with pinstripe and spider. So let's see how many eggs she has. Come on, mom. Let's come off the eggs, baby girl. Oh, she was really a sweetheart. What a beautiful snake, huh? Let's go ahead and just move these eggs really quick. Whoop, you got a bunch of little loose ones here. We'll candle those up just to make sure that they're okay. And we'll move, remove the rest of this clutch like this. Okay, here we go. Another beautiful clutch. Two, four, six, eight, ten good eggs. I tell you what, that's pretty awesome. That's 21 good eggs today. No slugs. I tell you, what, that, that's a pretty darn good day. And just like that, we're up to almost 70 clutches. Not quite halfway through production with ball pythons. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this, enjoying the fact that we're going to be able to take the journey all the way through to egg cutting. And you're going to remember these clutches while they're laid, and you can actually uh, see them being cut. So uh, let me know in the comments if you guys are enjoying this content. I hope you guys learned a little bit about why little snakes are a little bit angry. Uh, like I said, they're just scared. Once you gain their trust, they're absolutely amazing. And uh, by the way, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. If you did, here's a new playlist of me unboxing all kinds of stuff. I hope you'll enjoy that. Could you please support my podcast channel? Right up here, you can subscribe to it. It's called Checking In. I think you'll enjoy it. On this side, you can actually subscribe to this vlog channel. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.